As you know, I'm meeting with President Putin on Monday. We will, of course, ask your favorite question about meddling. I will be asking that question again. You know, what am I going to do? If he may deny it. I mean, it's one of those things. So all I can do is say, did you, and uh, don't do it again. But he may deny. I mean, well, uh, you'll be the first to know. I'm very consistent. I'm a very stable genius. We still have to figure out what's going on with he is the very model of a very stable genius. Of all the U.S. presidents, he is the mussolini He learned a lot of things according to his Wikipedia and demonstrates his ample intellect on social media. When people are in need, he is the best at making fun of them. He knows 11 words, although he can't spell even one of them. An overly flamboyant orange autocratic scuzzy man who's undermining everything Obama did because he can. He's undermining everything Obama did because he can. He's undermining everything Obama did because he can. He's overly flamboyant and an autocratic scuzzy orange man. I'm a very stable genius. He's firmly resolute, but how he thinks and feels and talks depends on any of the crap he may have heard that day on Fox and Friends. And though his brain is smaller than his tiny little penis, he is the very model of a very stable genius. Although his brain is smaller than his I am doing a great job, that I can tell you. He's very good at pushing all the bullshit that he's peddling, but won't concern himself with matters such as Russian meddling. His campaign manager's in jail on charges that are felony, and no one really cares about him less than his wife, Melanie. Sorry, Melanie. He's really great with children when it comes to immigration. He thinks he's making progress with denuclearization. He's only hated from Seattle to the Carolinas and likes to greet his lady friends by grabbing their vaginas. He likes to greet his lady friends by grabbing their vaginas. He likes to greet his lady friends by grabbing their vaginas. He likes to greet his lady friends by grabbing their vaginas. Queen Elizabeth did not see that coming. He's certainly pretty proficient at speaking Russian. He's certainly proficient at hijacking an election. 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 I would say the highest level of special. He's always been a pro at things like violating protocols and reproducing other egotistical Neanderthals. To all our greatest allies, he decides to say get out of here while doing all he can to satisfy his daddy Vladimir. There's no one as accomplished in the art of the distraction. Of anything that's factual, he orders a retraction. When greeting foreign leaders, he prefers the pomp and circumstance than vomits verbal diarrhea to satisfy his sycophants. There never was a military draft he couldn't dodge and he is excellent at advocating racist and misogyny. He likes to make up stories with convenient exclusion of topics that he finds make him feel threatened like collusion. He expertly persuades his base that Mueller's hunting for a witch. Instead of their own president, who's obviously Putin's bitch. He calls reporters fake and says the Democrats are sour grapes, then lies awake at night and thinks about those Russian pee pee He lies awake at night and thinks about those Russian pee pee He lies awake at night and thinks about those Russian pee pee He lies awake at night and thinks about those Never has there been a stable genius as small as he And if you don't believe me, you can just ask Sarah Huckabee And though his brain is smaller than his tiny little penis He is the very model of a very stable genius Always very smaller than his tiny little penis He is the very model of a very stable genius very stable genius Whatever, girl